Hello, it's Sweet Science Wednesday, and today we're going to be making scented ornaments. Arm & Hammer Baking Soda has a gift-giving guide of different activities that you can pull from, and this comes from that, and it was shared by my cousin, Junie Porterbent. She thought of me with my Sweet Science Wednesday, and so we have tried it. If you look over here, here's a couple of them, and they are scented with eucalyptus oil. You can use cinnamon or peppermint, but oh, I wish you had smell-o-vision, smell-o-rama on your cell phone or your computer so you could smell this. It's simple and easy, but you do need to get your parents' permission because you have to use a microwave for this. So, you take um, a half a cup of cornstarch, you take a cup of baking soda, and you mix those two ingredients in a dish, a bowl, and then you take three-fourths cup of water. Now, this is going to seem like it takes an eternity because what we do is after we stir it up very carefully, it looks kind of real liquidly, and you wonder how in the world it's going to make an ornament because it's so liquid. Well, here's the trick. The reason you need your parents' permission, we're gonna scoot over to the microwave. And in increments of 40 seconds and stirring, you need to let that go for 40 seconds. And it will take a couple of times on this, and I'm not gonna probably finish it up. I'm gonna show you what it looks like. It's supposed to be the consistency of mashed potatoes, but please do not eat this. I'm advising you not to. Um, but it's, it's gonna make some cute scented ornaments. So when we get on 40 seconds, which seems like it takes eternity, I hope you all are having a good December because you know what? Before we know it, it will be New Year's. So go ahead and start thinking about those New Year's resolutions that you're gonna be a little bit kinder, a little bit gentler. Oh, there it goes. You see how it has started getting hard consistency around the edge. We're gonna stir it again. It's getting harder to stir, but the more you do it at least a couple more times, and by the way of magic, we've got some already made up. And once we do that, we just add about 15 drops, but I've already added some to this, so I just had to add a few more drops, and just kind of mix it up. And you gotta get down and dirty with it because it's like the consistency of mashed potatoes. Once you get it mixed up with the um, eucalyptus oil or whatever essential oil you're using, get parchment paper or wax paper. Make sure you got some, a variety of cookie cutters and just lay it out on your paper. And it says to use a rolling pin, but I use a glass because I don't want the eucalyptus oil in my rolling pan since I do a lot of baking. So we're gonna roll it out. And usually you want it about an inch in height. I, I don't usually measure when I'm making ornaments, as you know, last week when I did the other ornament. Okay. And get it to the consistent height that you want it. When you do this, then you can take any shape cookie cutter and you cut out your design. You've got your design. And if you want to have it as an ornament like this, then you will need to punch a hole in the top. And so what I'm gonna do is I've got two toothpicks and I'm gonna go down just a little piece and kind of twirl and make a big enough hole that you can either run ribbon or jute in. Make sure you've got it on the other side as well. And this takes 24 to 48 hours to dry. Right now it's very pliable, but um, it's, it smells really, really good. You don't even have to punch a hole. You can use these as decoration to sit around, um, maybe some little stands like I have right here and um, it makes your house smell oh so good. So, take the time, create some new memories, make these scented ornaments. I will share the recipe on our um, YouTube page and our 4-H 
Facebook page. So I hope you've enjoyed today's creation for the holidays. So come back and see us next week where we will do another one. I am Deborah Cox with Sweet Science Wednesday. Have a good one. Bye-bye.